Well, right after India has achieved a mammoth landmark vaccination target of 100 crore doses, which is 1 billion vaccinations, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi has called the seven vaccine manufacturers based out of India to chalk out the next plan and also to pay a gratitude and respect to these vaccine manufacturers as without their contribution to vaccine research as well as supplies and production, India could not have achieved this target. But essentially, what does this mean for the big inoculation target that India plans to achieve going forward? First of all, the Indian government looks to inoculate eligible population above the age of 18 by December. Now, will that be possible? There are questions that are being raised because those who take COVID shield still have to wait for about 84 more days to take the second jab. For Covaxin, it's still 21 days as the dose gap is shorter and so it is for Sputnik V vaccine as well. But in order to make sure that the eligible population also takes their second dose, we are looking at uh, more than 75% coverage for those who have taken dose 1, but we are also looking at around 30% coverage or 31% coverage for those who have taken dose 2. The government next target will be that most people who have taken the first dose also step out to take the second dose. And that is going to be a very uh, important target for the government in inoculating everybody. Next, on the agenda with the, 17, uh, with the seven manufacturers is going to be how and when exports can start for vaccines because vaccine manufacturers have now reached a stage where India is a vaccine surplus country. We've already begun uh, initiatives like uh, Vaccine Maitri once again where India is supplying doses to countries like Nepal, Bhutan, Myanmar, Iran as well. But India's contribution to World Health Organization's uh, alliance for vaccine availability to lower and middle income country called COVAX, in which Gavi is also a partner along with CEPI, has not started yet. So perhaps that pathway could also be discussed. Going forward, manufacturers are looking at uh, starting commercial vaccine uh, exports as well and that could also be a point that could be raised uh, how to go ahead and how to go about it considering that the government needs to give that green light to vaccine manufacturers. One very important point will be when will we see a children's vaccine because Zydus Cadilla, as Zycov D's vaccine has been approved by the Drug Controller General for inoculation in children above the age of 12 years till 18 years. Bharat Biotech's co-vaccine is uh, being recommended by the SEC for inoculation in children from two years, as little as two years to 18 years. But a final approval from DCGI needs to go forward for that. And when will children begin to be inoculated? Because experts are divided on that front as well. Some believe that uh, inoculations could start as early as next year. But many also say that they are skeptical. And without children's vaccines, they would not like to send their children to school. So that plan is also being firmed up. That could also form part of these discussions. But finally, the mammoth task that India has achieved in inoculations will not be complete unless and until all eligible populations are vaccinated. As we speak, countries outside of India have once again begun struggling with more COVID cases coming forward. And with festivities in India as well, a close watch is being kept. Vaccine production and supplies will need to be augmented not just from vaccine manufacturers that are supplying right now, especially Serum Institute of India and Bharat Biotech or Sputnik, but we're looking at newer vaccines made by Genova Biopharma, vaccine by Zydus Cadilla, even for adults, uh, another vaccine uh, being created by Hyderabad-based Biological E. So there's going to be more vaccines available and hopefully we'll have a choice around uh, the end of the year or next year to choose the vaccine that we would like to administer. All this and much more will be discussed in the coming days as the health ministry as well as the government of India together step up and take vaccine manufacturing on a mammoth task. With Parminder Sharma in New Delhi, this is Milan Sharma for India Today.